Now it's time to embarrass some famous faces as we ask, where were they then? We advise you said to came as a result of my own mistake and making my own girlfriend pregnant. Um, and I went through about three months of um, hell, torment, whatever you say, in trying to find um, somebody who could give us help. Um, and I was very lucky then that, you know, when she's nearly three months pregnant, um, we finally came across a very kind woman doctor who in fact helped a lot in the advice she sent us since. Um, and as a result of um, my own personal um, experience, um, and perhaps of the experience when I first came down to London of not knowing anyone and going through a period of about a month of loneliness in the basement and um, you know I decided to um, set up a centre um, which dealt with problems or any problems of young people. How long are you over do you now? Ten weeks. My periods are so irregular that uh, this was the first opportunity that I really had to, you know, to be able to find out. Okay. Um, well look, what we'll do, um, it's a very, very simple, easy operation if you want an abortion, which we presumably do. Um, we'll arrange it um, for you in Birmingham, which is the very mm -hmm. kind people, very good people who are helping there. Um, and as long as it's done by good doctors and a good nursing home, you've got absolutely nothing to worry about. We worked out that there was no need for shops to be charging the amount they were for records. So we started a mail order company that would sell any record from any record manufacturer for 10%, 25% less than a commercial price. For instance, we could buy a record from EMI for 31 shillings, which a shop would sell at 40 shillings. Instead, we sell it for 35 shillings. Log inquiries, please. Virgin Records is helping hundreds and hundreds of um, young people throughout the country to get records at about six shillings cheaper than, or six to eight shillings cheaper than they would anywhere else. Um, at the same time, uh, it's also starting up new groups who, uh, you know, have been scorned by some of the big companies and were, you know, listening to their records and, give, and to give them a chance to get going themselves. Whiz kid Richard Benson there. I always wonder why he called his company Virgin Records. And now, here's a record of some vintage ads from 1971. This is it. The now designs for that shirt by Double Two. The latest new knitted. The greatest for color and style. That shirt is something else. And it's tapered to fit your body like skin. It's that shirt in Dacron Cotton by Double Two International. Now on release. Every day that's away. Us goes where we go to help keep us dry. The hotter we get, the harder us works. Us, the deodorant for him, for her, for all of us. Every day and every way, you're okay with us. Day after day, you're okay with us. Night after night, you're okay with us. You're okay with us. Follow Harry. Get seven pounds for your old cleaner when you buy Electrolux from Civic. Miss A. Weston, secretary, tights by time, nine till five tights, daytimes, smoothly efficient. Angie Weston, hair down, having fun, tights by time, playtime, happily pretty. Miss Angela Weston, lady in love, tights by time, love times, soft, sheer, and romantic. Easier to choose than a man. From the round-the-clock collection of tights by time. If you were the only boy in the world And I were the only girl There would be such wonderful things to do I could do those things for you She was admiring my tie My favorite, too Favorite ties are matchmates They do tend to get noticed In Terraline and Crimpley Favorite matchmates for the only boy in the world That's a nice shirt. It's a Ben Sherman. Did people really wear shirts like that? In daylight? Well, Roger Moore and Tony Curtis did in The Persuaders an unashamed chunk of genuine dyed-in-the-wool television hokum. The series was set up by Sir Lou Grade and cost two and a half million pounds to make, 
the most expensive series ever at the time. Our viewers will not be a whit surprised to hear that by the time this first episode was screened, Salou had already pre-sold the series for three million pounds. Much of this, in fact, came from the United States, but they put it out against Mission Impossible, which was so popular that after one season they cancelled the Persuaders. But not away, not away. Roger Moore was making so much money that he was Britain's first actor to become a millionaire from television. The Persuaders is what is known in the trade as a buddy-buddy series. So sit back, feet up, unbutton your safari suit and shirt if necessary, and enjoy. <laughs> 